Hard to imagine a better day in April yeah. to go shoeless. The weather today rocked and the valley took advantage. Matt King, we sent him outside to check it out. Yeah, Michelle, pretty perfect day to play hooky from school or work, or at least to tell a story about people playing hooky from school or work. <laughs> Brooks babble, blossoms bloom, and baseball is a sale rawhide. But six-year-old Caden Webb sits on a bench doing his homework. Dad's doing homework. Yep, first grade math and reading. And while the afternoons of his peers comparatively seem a walk, a toss, and a game of tag in the park, I won't get you. How does Caden feel about the concept of homework? Uh, that's pretty really cool. And who says our nation's youth lack drive? To prove Caden's dedication, watch what happens when the wind tries to snatch his assignment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. While Caden sat with his homework, Jonah Arledge did the same with his father, Nathan Orchard with his daughter Ellie. And this gusty, summerish day of spring seemed to divide itself into twos. It finally hit above 70, and we're excited. We want to be outside. Brought him down, basically, just to run the energy off him a little bit. She loves to go down the slides, and she loves to swing, and she loves to chase the animals. Uh-oh. She's peaceful now, but once Iola finishes wolfing that PB&J, Rocky the German Shepherd might want to watch out. Oh, uh, we're just taking him out to get some exercise. Phil Arledge brought Jonah for the same reason. Climbing on the equipment. Climbing on the equipment. And as dozens of little groms crawled all over the place, Caden the Scholar looked on a little wistfully. There's, there's some of those slides I like. His time would come, but multiplication tables came first. Second, hydration. And then finally, the hour dawned to scamper off and join the masses. Really sweet weather. I'm sure Bob will tell us if we can expect it to stay awesome or to take a change. Live in the studio, Matt King, Fox 9 News at 9.